Hello, my name is Hong Junma. I work for HP Data Center Integration Group. In this video, I'm trying to show you how Nexus 1000 VVM module uh, ping different uh, virtual machine and VM kernel traffic to up to the virtual kernel module. So now let's take a look at uh, how Nexus 1000V connecting with virtual connect and hashing different virtual machine traffic. So right now I have two virtual machines on this host. So test three. Linux machine is running, uh, is connected to a uh, port group uh, VM data VLAN 30, and it's the same thing for here VM data VLAN 30. So if we take a look at the port group definition, actually we can go here on the host level. And you will see the virtual switch. You can see I have one pro group defined, VM data VLAN 30, and I have two VM attached. This is how it looks like on Nexus 1000 V side. So if you do the show run port profile, so really this is the one V Ethernet port group. Pretty much define the access port and the VLAN 30. So if you do the show show interface brief, I have two V Ethernet at the VLAN 30. So if you do the show V Ethernet 18. You can see this is the uh, dash four, and this is the dash three. Another way is show interface v Ethernet eighteen. You can see it's active on module ten. Okay, so uh, the c another command to show how this traffic is being forwarded to uh, from the Nexus 1000 VVM to virtual connect is by doing the module command module vm 10 execute um, so this is a very useful command pretty much it can sh you can sh see on the module 10 which is the ESXi we have in Foxon we have a 4 VM NIC so because we are using the MAC pinging so internally it has a for each individual uplink it has different uh, subgroup so the different VM will be hashed to different pinged to a different uh, subgroup so you can see for VM NIC 0, VM NIC 1 we have 0 and 1 this two VM NICs is attached to the system uplink uh, port, port profile, and uh, so VMK the uh, VM kernel interface is hashed to one of the uplink. You can see VM NIC two, VM NIC three. We have the sub subgroup ID two and three, and you can see two VMs. You can see my VM3 is hashed to VM NIC2 and my uh, VM4 is hashed to another VM NIC3. So VM NIC2 is connecting with the uh, with the virtual connect module 2 in the chassis, uh, with the virtual connect module 1 in the chassis, and the VM NIC3 is connecting uh, with the virtual connect module one, uh, 2 in the chassis and then from there module 1 is connecting up to Nexus 5k VPC 
and the module 2 also is connecting up to Nexus 5K VPC. So this is how they look like. So if you take a look at on VLAN 30, you can see my port group is a 704 and a 705, right? So pretty much if you do the show, run interface PO 704, you can see the physical interface Ethernet 1 slash 27. If you do the show error DP neighbor, Interface is 127. You can see this one virtual kind of module is in the module one. Okay, so it's the same thing on the 5K2 side. If you do the show run interface PO704 mem, and if you do the show LTP neighbor. Is one twelve. You can see this is uh, going to the same virtual kind of module, but in uh, for the X to another link. This X one. So pretty much, the VM three is hashed to is pinned to the VM NIC uh, two, and then virtual kind of module one, and then going into the VPC on five K. The VM NIC uh, the VM4 is a hash to VM NIC 3 and then going to virtual kind of module 2 and then going into the 5k another port channel. So let's do some failover testing to make sure you know things can fail over. So this is my virtual kind of server profile for the so pretty much this is VMNIC 0, this is 1, this is VMNIC 2, this is VMNIC 3. This is a, the profile for that um, blade. So let me s try to disable the VMNIC 2 to see if the traffic can fill over to the other one. So right now, I'll do the disable, apply. Okay, it's done. So right now it's disabled. So if we take a look at on um, this guy, um, so you can see my 10.3 going down. So if you take a look at the port again, you can see VMNIC 2 is down right now. Right, so you can see originally my two VM is ha pinned to different VM NICs, but right now since my one of my VM NICs for VM data port group is down, so both VMs are now using the other v the other remaining uplink to a virtual kind of module two. So if you take a look at uh, the MAC address. So you can see right now, both virtual machines go into the port channel 705, which is linked to uh, the virtual connect module 2. So let's go back to virtual connect, try to see if we can bring it up to see what happens. So we'll do the custom. We'll assign this one to 8 gig for VM data. <coughs> Apply. This is just the to simulation, to simulate in just in case one of the uplink going down. So in real time, in real life, very likely your uh, physical cable between virtual connect uh, and the nexus will go down that's the most you know likely scenario and the virtual connect smart link will 
disable the downlink is right now I'm just uh, trying to directly simulate the downlink going down to see how Nexus 1000V uh, will be repainted to another virtual kind of module so let's go to that so right now you can see the module is the port is, is going up let's see okay so now you can see VMNIC2 is back to up and you can see the right now they this is subgroup two, three, and both the VMs will be hashed to its respective link uplink. So I'm doing some you know continuous pin for these VMs. So you can see the pin is still good. So we just mentioned the scenario of we set up four VM NICs uh, on the ESXi host and, and pretty much we have a pair, the first pair of VM NIC doing the VM kernel uh, system management uh, all you know, important you know, system function VLAN forwarding and the, the second pair of uh, you know, uh, VM NICs so we can reserve for VM data. For virtual connect, uh, we for half typical half high blade HP blade server with the uh, flex fabric adapter, uh, a pair of a virtual connect can give you up to eight uh, flex NICs. So on the ESXi host, you will have up to eight VM NICs showing up. So it's really up to your design. So but uh, you how you want to split you know the different VLANs to different uh, uh, uplink but there's another design it's pretty much you don't really need to split the flex neck you have a two 10 gig pipe and then on the uh, VMware side you know they will have uh, two VM NICs zero and one and pretty much you have a two ten gig and have all the VLANs, you know, in the uh, uh this pair of uh, VM NICs. So I have a uh, one module of it's module six. You can see it this is another uh ESX ESXi host. If you do the so for the module six I have two VM NICs and the last scenario I have four. So for this two, you can see I have port seven. If you do the show interface, uh, show for channel summary, you can see the modules port channel seven has the uh, Ethernet six one and the six two. If you do the show run interface Ethernet 6.1, you can see it's also using the same system uplink, module 2. two. So, another way you can see is the by getting to the BAM module you can do the show port pretty much you can see you have a two uh, VMs running and uh, these two VMs if you do the show run in, in the V Ethernet 15 so you can see they are using the VM data so if you do the show run port profile for VM data. So it's really, I, you know, I put the, uh, just for simplicity, I put these two VMs into uh, the same VLAN as the system management. In real world, very likely they are different. So that's the reason in, uh, in the real, real world you might have it as a VLAN 50. Then pretty much you just need to uh, in the uplink port profile
in the uplink pop profile you can see the You just need to add whatever VLAN, uh, VM VLAN you want. The important thing is, you know, even if it's a combined pipe, you want to make sure you configure system VLAN for the your most important VLAN like management, uh, you know, vMotion and you know the VM VM kernel and uh, IP storage. So. If you take a look at the module, so pretty much you can see for this to a pair of VM NIC, I have my VM kernel is pinned to one of them and uh, two VM uh, pinned to the other one. If you have multiple VMs, then very likely they will also ping to the subgroup zero. So it's really you know it's a shared resource you. You can configure quality of service to guarantee, you know, service for particular applications. But that's, you know, this is a one of the design, um, pretty much using 210 gig and have everything going up to this pair of, you know, VM NIC compared with the uh, four VM NICs we have been discussing. You also can set up, you know, six VM NIC or eight VM NIC by using Virtual Connect Flex Fabric feature.